Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another grocery haul. And this one is a big one. It is our Thanksgiving grocery haul. All right, so I am home from the grocery store. I ended up having to run to Publix but I, for a couple of things, but I did go and get the majority of things at Kroger. I had a couple of off your purchase coupons that I was able to use. So Kroger and Publix combined, we were at two, I wanna say it was like 21870 something. Um, so not terrible, but man, it was crowded. <laughs> there was a lot of people. I went on Saturday before Thanksgiving <laughs> that it wasn't my smartest idea, but um, Friday, yesterday morning, yesterday for me when I was filming this, um, I had a work meeting and so I wasn't able to go to the grocery store right after I took the kids to school. So now we're doing it on a Saturday. So it is what it is. Let me flip you around. I'll show you everything that I picked up and then we'll talk deals, totals, all that good stuff. Okay. So here's a look at the meal plan. There's part of my grocery list, but on the meal plan tonight, we're doing the Beijing beef and rice. Tomorrow we're gonna do chicken alfredo with a panko breaded chicken breast. Then I'm gonna do Monday a crock pot beef tips and gravy with either rice or we'll do mashed potatoes and some sort of side to go with that. And then Tuesday will be the Frank's Red Hot Chicken, which is a really easy recipe that we learned um, from every plate when we got one of those boxes. And then I'm gonna do crock pot chili on Wednesday and then we have Thanksgiving number one with one part of our family on Thursday on Thanksgiving day. And then the other Thanksgiving number two, I am cooking everything that'll be here with our other part of our family on Friday. And then um, we just have stuff going on all weekend too. So I just stopped planning at Thanksgiving and Friday and then I will go to the grocery store or place a delivery order at some point over the weekend. But that's everything. I wanted to make sure that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they were very easy recipes that were pretty hands off. Um, and matter of fact, if we end up having beef tips left over, then we may not make the chili. We'll just see what we end up doing. But two of those meals go in the crock pot and then one of those is a really easy sheet pan meal. So that will be easy for me because I do still have to work from home this week the kids are home this week and I also want to get my house cleaned and all that good stuff and then be prepping for Thanksgiving. So that's the plan there as far as our meal plan. Um, I want to say, yeah, about 218 I think was our total between the two stores. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to remember to tell you what was from what store and what it cost. But I may be a little bit mixed up. We'll see. Okay. Celery, I don't remember how much that was. That was from Publix. $2.99 for the classic garden salad mix. That is for tomorrow for chicken Alfredo. Two onions. I think two onions will be enough for everything that I need for Thanksgiving. I mainly just need onion for the dressing and then an onion to stick in the cavity of the turkey. So I got two of those, um, $1.19 a pound, which is not really a good deal, but it was better than buying the bags of onions. So I got two of those. $4.99 for one, four, no, $4.99 for a two pound block of the sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, this is a deal. So it makes it $1.25 per eight ounce block. Um, and you'll see I got some shredded cheeses too. So that was an excellent deal. So if you have a Kroger or affiliate, you can get up to five of those with a digital coupon. So make sure you take advantage of that. Um, okay. The Little Smokies, I got the Kroger brand. These were $3.33 per package. I got two of those. One, of, we're gonna do like some snacky stuff um, between Thursday and Friday. Um, so these are gonna go in the crock pot with barbecue sauce. And then bologna, we're making homemade Lunchables again this week for one of my kiddos for lunch. The other wanted cinnamon bread and peanut butter sandwiches, and I already have cinnamon bread, so we're good there. And Lord knows we have lots of peanut butter, so we're good there. I believe the bologna was $1.99 this week, or $2.99 one. I don't remember. 
$2.49 a pound for the black seedless grapes. They were all out of red seedless grapes. So I just got these, I think they were about two and a half pounds. Three gallons of whole milk from Kroger, $3.29 a gallon. One Milo's sweet tea, one Milo's unsweet tea, and one Milo's sweet tea and lemonade. Hopefully that's going to be enough um, with hosting Thanksgiving and all of that. If not, we can always just go grab a gallon of tea or make tea. I don't know if I have any tea bags. So we'll see. Anyways, I did have a 75 cent off to little coupon that I had printed out at the machine last time I was in Kroger. So I used that off of two of the Milo's there. Um, what else? Butter. Butter was $2.99 a pound, which is not a fantastic deal, but I had a couple of off your total purchase coupons. So I used it and kind of decided it was making my butter cheaper. That's kind of how I rationalized that. And I got five pounds of salted butter. Okay. Four half gallons of chocolate almond milk, $2.69 a half gallon. That is pretty much all my youngest drinks, that and water. So I got those. I had a 75 cent off one package of chicken, the Heritage Farm Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast, and they were $1.99 a pound this week. So I paid about $7.75 for um, a little over four pounds of chicken. So that's a pretty good deal. I'll just go ahead and use this since it's fresh for chicken Alfredo, and then we'll be good to go. I'm gonna prep myself some of these chicken tenderloins in the air fryer for lunches this week. So this was not inexpensive, but it was easy to just coat this in olive oil and some seasonings and throw it in the air fryer. So $9.74 for that package. Two English cucumbers, $1.49 each, $1.69 a pound actually now. For jalapenos, I just got four um, to do some stuffed jalapenos wrapped in bacon to do the little jalapeno poppers. These were cute, these Belgian wafer, Belgian waffle butter crisps, little, I don't know, just little snacks. I'm doing a snack board for Thanksgiving, so that's going on that. Okay, pie crusts were $2 for the Kroger brand, the pre-made rolled up ones. Jiffy corn muffin mix at Kroger was like 79 cents. I don't use this for my dressing, but it was free on Ibotta. So I did go ahead and get that. I think it was actually a small money maker. Raw peanuts were $2.99 for making peanut brittle. Um, if we don't get to that for the snack board for Thanksgiving, then we'll have them for Christmas candy making. Behind that is a $1.99 uh, half gallon bottle of Kroger apple juice that was on sale with a digital coupon. And then I got two of the whipped cream cheese frostings. These were $1.67 each. And then those were at Kroger. The Gardettos, this is for my Crispix mix. And these were buy one, get one free at $3.22 for the two of them at Publix. And then $3.49 for the party size bag of tortilla chips, the little scoops looking one. And then $4.50 for the wavy Lay's potato chips there behind. I got me one of those Alani Witches Brew energy drinks to try. I don't know, it just sounded good. And then that was $1.79. 99 cents for one of the Arizona green teas for my husband. Two spice cake mixes. I might make one of these for Thanksgiving. I might not. I really don't know. But even if I don't, I'm going to make one of these for sure. So that's why I got two, just in case, with the cream cheese frosting um, to go with my husband to work one day. They always take stuff like the whole month of December. So that'll be one of the easier things that I just kind of whip up and send. And then I'll do cookies and candies and all that stuff later. This is actually a Christmas present. So I'm going to stash this away. I'll show you what that is goes with and why. I'm going to stick this in my baking cart real quick. Um, I'll show you later when I show you Christmas stuff um, in another video, but that's part of a present there. Okay, Berry Blue Jello, $1.49. We're going to make Jello, and then we're going to make some strawberry Jello cups too. I'm just going to make homemade Jello cups, and then that was 99 cents, I believe, for the Kroger brand. They don't make the blue raspberry one or else I would have gotten the Kroger brand in that. $3.99 for cherry pie filling. 
Chocolate covered pretzels were $4.99, so I got those at Kroger. This was $2.19 for the Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce, but um, again, that was another freebie on Ibotta, and I think it's actually a small money maker because I think you get $2.36 back on Ibotta with it. This was also um, a freebie, and I needed a brown gravy packet for the beef tips, um, so that's good. I don't use a packet for Thanksgiving. I usually use the turkey drippings and make gravy that way, um, but I'll use this for sure for the beef tips, so that was good to have. $5.99 for pecan halves. This is 12 ounces. Um, we're going to do some candied pecans. Um, I got six sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving to make sweet potato casserole. Those were 49 cents a pound at Kroger. This Frank's Red Hot seasoning, this is goes with that Frank's Red Hot chicken. This was $5.49, but this will last several, several meals because you don't need a ton. $2.49 for the Campbell's Chunky Old Bay Clam Chowder. Um, my husband really enjoyed that. He's going to use that as one of his lunches this week. Needed some ultra thin pads. Those were $4.99 in the Kroger brand. Got Eggo waffles for $5.79 for the chocolate chip. $2 for the Kroger brand crispy rice cereal for Rice Krispie treats. $3.99 for a four pound bag of pinto beans. $6.99 for two pounds of strawberries at Kroger. Um, these were $3.49 for the peanut butter M&Ms. $1.49 for this little thing of chocolate ice cream. My youngest really likes chocolate ice cream. So the ice creams that I got in the Bluebell that was on sale, she's not going to care for. So we got her a little chocolate one. $1.99 for the Kroger bread. $2 for the deep dish pie crust that are already in the pan. So one will be for cherry pie, one for chest pie. And then 59 cents a pound for bananas at Kroger. So I got, I think there's like six bananas total just for the kids to eat on. 39 cents a pound for turkey. Um, and so that ended up being $6.19 for, how big is the turkey? 15.87 pounds. So that is good. $4.99 for a two pound bag of the shredded Mexican cheese and two pounds of Cheddar Jack. And then $6.49 for the four pack of the Kleenex Soothing Lotion. And let me come over here. If you have not tried these hot cocoa flavor Oreos, marshmallow and hot cocoa Oreos. Y'all, these are really, really good and they're probably not gonna last long. I don't know how long they'll have them. And all of us in my house are loving these. So I did go ahead and pick up two more packages to stash away. They were $3.49 each with a digital coupon. And all the Oreos were, I just got those cause that's what we're liking right now. A dollar for the Kroger whipped topping. I typically make homemade whipped cream, but I'm making a ton of other stuff homemade this time. <laughs> and so I just bought the the cool whip type thing. Okay. And then um, Christmas cookie flavored bluebell ice cream and a vanilla bean. These are normally $9.49 each, which is insane to me, but they were buy one, get one free at Kroger. So I did go ahead and get those two. We'll have ice cream for the people that want ice cream with pie and cake and stuff. Um, and then I just had to have the Christmas cookies and that was the last one my store had of that flavor. Um, and I know that that's, they only run that buy one, get one free bluebell like twice a year. So I went on ahead and got it. We'll stash it away in the freezer. Okay, y'all, that's a look at everything that I got from Kroger and Publix this week. Um, my mom is grabbing potatoes and carrots and something else for me. Oh, the herbs for the turkey. I already have the orange that I use inside the turkey. Um, we already have, if you can see back there, we still have some apples, some navel oranges, and some mandarin oranges. And then we still have lots of canned fruits and vegetables, a few frozen, and then, like I said, I just wanted to keep the meals easy this week, leading up to the week of Thanksgiving. All right, that's everything that I've got, y'all. Let me know what is on your Thanksgiving menu. I would love to hear. Um, actually, I can show you what's going to be on mine because I did write it out. So, um, the snack board's not on here, but we're going to be doing a snack board. 
And then we have a turkey. We already have a ham. I got it for 99 cents a pound for a spiral cut ham at Target the other day. Homemade mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and the turkey gravy with the turkey drippings. Green beans, sweet potatoes, corn. Um, I already had the corn. Deviled eggs. I already have lots of eggs still. Cornbread dressing that's going to have turkey in it as well. And then homemade rolls, um, a chest pie, a cherry pie, and then Chex Mix and Rice Krispie treats, and then little cocktail sausages and barbecue sauce, and the snack board for snacking, and then we'll have lots of leftovers. So it's gonna be a good week. I am excited for it. I think I did a fairly good job at keeping the menu for the week easy and light so that I don't have to be in the kitchen a ton cooking all week, and then I can just be prepping for the Thanksgiving meals. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I, w the hardest part of making a turkey for me is actually just prepping the turkey. It's not that hard to really watch it cook, you know, and just kind of keep an eye on it, but prepping the turkey isn't hard either. It just makes a mess. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that part, but it will be delicious when it's done and I enjoy making it. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Don't forget to get your free turkey if you have not submitted to Ibotta on or for that. Um, if you unlocked those bonuses and then the free sides as well. And then I had already picked it up, but if you haven't, Publix has buy one, get one free on the Idaho and mashed potatoes. And then you can use, even though it's cheaper, so it'll be a money maker for you, you can get the free Idaho and mashed potatoes. Uh, rebate on Ibotta. So if you're new to Ibotta, it's always linked down below. Gets you an extra five bucks, I think, right now. If you sign up using my code, uh, it's up to you. It's just there to help if you need it. Um, yeah, that's everything that I've got, y'all. Let me know what's on your meal plan. Let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And until next time, I will see y'all in the comments down below. Bye, y'all.